Hi, everybody. It's Steph again from KillerPHP.com. Uh, yeah, as you can tell, I'm wearing the same uh, shirt again. I'm, I'm doing vblog after vblog. I just have all these ideas, all these things I want to talk about. So since I'm on a roll with regards to PHP and coding and frameworks, I wanted to discuss something a little bit more philosophical and practical about being a web developer. So with all these different languages out there, PHP, Ruby, Java, Python, etc., and all these different frameworks, Laravel, Xen, Code Igniter, etc. Now, we got all these different frameworks and languages and so on. And yet, each house, each language, each framework will say, no, ours is better than the others. We do it properly. They don't do it so good. But despite all these disagreements and these different points of views, they all seem to be able to produce good apps anyway, or at least successful apps. So for instance, oh boy, I got an instant message. So I'm going to pause this for a second. Okay, I'm back. So with all these successful apps being created by all these different languages and frameworks, like, you know, PHP, you have Facebook, and you have WordPress. Uh, well, yeah. I'm not sure how good the code is in Facebook. It used to be really sucky back in the day, but it's still a highly successful uh, uh, site, obviously, and it's written in PHP. And then you look on the Ruby camp, you have uh, Twitter. You know, R Ruby is, uh, Twitter is written with Ruby, and, and the Ruby guys, will say, pace, Ruby guys will say Facebook sucks, and the PHP guys will say screw Ruby, and in Python too, there's another language. I'm sure Python has very uh, successful projects that are out there. So, and there's many others, of course. So, the big question is, if you got all these different languages, and all these different frameworks, you know, in PHP, you got Laravel, CodeIgniter, Zend, uh, CakePHP, and there are a few others, Symfony, and they all produce good apps. They, you, can all, you can produce good apps with all these different frameworks, all these different languages. So the big question is, how important really is the programming language, and how important is the framework? So... Before I answer that question, it relates back, I'm going to relate this back to martial arts. And I do this a lot because I did martial arts for the majority of my life. I did, I practiced for 30 years, many different styles, many different schools, and uh, some hardcore stuff. I used to be a bouncer, so I put a lot of stuff to, the, uh, to test in, rea in reality. And... Um, so, like in programming, in the martial art community, you have all these different styles. And you can think of each style of martial art like being, it's a new, it's another, it's, it, they're, they're fighting technologies. Martial arts are fighting technologies. Some are simple, some are complex. And they contradict each other as well, just like programming languages. One style of martial art will say, oh no, this is how you got to do it. Another style will say, no, you got to do it this way. And I can tell you from my experience over the decades, that regardless of the style, there's always pretty decent, well, not always, but most of the time, there's pretty good fighters will come out of any style in any school. It, it doesn't matter what the style is. And, and you, have a, you have, like, let's say, somebody in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu who could fight really well, and then you fight a guy in wrestling who could fight very well as well and even though they're different styles they, they, they still produce good fighters and a lot of times in these styles they'll contradict each other one style will say no you gotta punch like this and the other style said no 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 that sucks you gotta punch like that you get the idea and when I was like 18 years old or 17 18 I forget now I, I was having done several systems at this point I was uh, perplexed by that I said well if if this style says this sucks, and this style says no, that sucks, but they still produce good fighters, so to me, that told me that the techniques and the style of martial art was irrelevant. It didn't matter. There was something else going on that made people good fighters or not. And the techniques and the nuances and those details really didn't have much of an impact. 
So what I did is I decided to try to figure out what it was, what it was that fundamental, those fundamental things, principles, ideas that made good fighters, regardless of system, regardless of the style. So let's go back to programming, application development, as, as we discussed, regardless of the language, Ruby, PHP, Java, C Sharp, Objective-C, you can always produce good apps. Now, I shouldn't have mentioned Objective-C because that's kind of very, very specific to creating uh, apps for Apple computers, for Macs, and for creating iOS apps. So they don't, it doesn't really compete with um, PHP, Ruby, uh, Python. But so forget about Objective-C for now, but so just look at PHP, Ruby, and Python. Java, .NET, these are all competing technologies. They're all server-side programming languages. And, you know, and they contradict each other, right? Java is a strongly typed language. If you don't know what that means, check out my videos. Uh, whereas Ruby and PHP are loosely typed dynamic languages. And there's pros and cons to each, and you know the Java guys will say, no, no, it's better to do it this way, and the PHP guy, PHP guys will say, no, 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 et cetera, et cetera. And this goes to the, the frameworks as well, right? The Zen framework versus Laravel versus CodeIgniter versus Ruby on Rails versus, you know, but they all produce good stuff. So what this tells me is that though these frameworks are important, though good languages are important, um, they're not the final answer in terms of what makes a good app. So what makes a good app? I've been building apps since 1996, building websites since 1994. I've programmed things in many different languages. It's basic coding principles properly executed that makes a difference between a successful app and a crappy app. And one of the things, I'll give you one tip for this video blog, because I don't want to get into it now. One of the most important things you can do when you're creating apps is that you keep your code simple. You keep it very simple and you keep it very modular. Okay, that's two things. Simple code, I think that's pretty obvious. Modular, meaning you don't want big bloated code. So if you're developing object-oriented based PHP, uh, an, excuse me, if you are developing an object-oriented based uh, PHP app, uh, whether you're using Zend or Laravel or whatever, what, what have you, try to keep your objects as small as possible and as focused as possible in terms of what they do. Don't have big monster objects with monster capabilities. You shouldn't have an object that can do 20 things. Your object should maybe do one, maybe two things that are related. That's it. So keep your code simple. Same thing with your functions. Well, you know, functions inside of objects or methods. Same thing with your methods. Keep them simple, fine-grained, as they used to say in the uh, Java community. So that's my tip for today. Um, that's it.